Good evening, everyone. The third annual revised edition of the Munising Trout and Salmon Classic brought nearly 50 boats to Lake Superior for some good fishing. Naturally, some teams did better than others, and for one team's members, they get to tell a story about the one that didn't get away. This is Team End of the Road, led by Captain Jim Barker of Germfest. This was his first appearance in the tournament, and there's a good chance the return visit will be on the schedule. Yes, there's the big one, 25.6 pound trout. Barker caught it this morning around 8.30 with a six inch spoon more than 30 miles from shore. For the weekend, team end of the road nearly broke the scale with just over 165 pounds of trout, easily winning the big fish and trout division. It was an innocent morning that all of a sudden changed. We are out trolling around, sitting there bored. Now you're Lake Superior, you're not bored. Holding on, reeling keep everything moving. All of a sudden I had something on and I said, yep, we got something here, boys. A good 20 minutes to get him in the boat. First place in salmon, $2,000 donated by the Munising Visitors Bureau. Team cut bait, Captain Toby Lepinen, 26.59 pounds. Lepinen also had the largest salmon at a little over seven pounds. More than $12,000 in prize money was dished out after the two-day event. Proceeds will go to the Munising Fire Department, which put on the weekend. For the folks who didn't get the big money, as we all know, there's always next year. NMU hockey coach Walt Kyle has announced the signing of six recruits and one is from the Upper Peninsula and another one has ties to the UP. Defenseman Jesse Juntala is from Calumet. He played for the Marquette Electricians and the Jersey Hitmen of the USPHL. Six foot six defenseman Connor Franti has been captain of the Lincoln Stars of the United States Hockey League. He has ties to the UP and is a cousin of current Wildcat Zach Diamantoni. Ate Tolvanen is a goalie from Finland and has been an all-star with Minot in the NAHL. Troy Loggins is from California and has been a forward with the Sioux Falls Stampede of the USHL and led the league in scoring during the playoffs. Ryan Black is a defenseman from Stillwater, Minnesota. He was an all-star with the Bon. Bonneville Pontiacs of the Alberta Junior Hockey League, and James Vermillion is a defenseman with the White Court Wolverines of the AJHL. He was the team's most valuable player and was an all-star. Another NMU hockey recruit has helped his team win the Robertson Cup in the North American Hockey League. Brett Haeckel of Marquette scored twice last night for the Minnesota Wilderness in a 4-0 win over the Austin Bruins. Minnesota won the series two games to none. Haeckel had four goals and three assists in the postseason after scoring 16 goals and 12 assists during the regular season. Congratulations to a number of Upper Peninsula runners today who took part in the Cellcom Marathon or Half Marathon or 5K events. In the full marathon, Menominee's Mark Jasper finished 14th overall, 2 hours, 59 minutes and 21 seconds. 24th place went to Kingsford's Kevin Socia. Marquette's Greg Borzik finished 29th. And Max Starr of Marquette was 70th. And Bob Sable of Ironwood was 74th in 3 hours, 27 minutes and 33 seconds. On the women's side, Sarah Trevelyan of Iron Mountain, 3 hours, 51 minutes and 49 seconds. Sarah Grounded of Iron Mountain was not too far behind. Jennifer Mathias Sundberg of Ishpeming in just over four hours. And no, you're not seeing things. That's Miss UP, Brittany Capaferi of Nagani, finishing 99th on the women's side in four hours, two minutes and five seconds. For the half marathon, Jeffers grad Jonathan Kilpola finished fifth in an hour, 14 minutes and two seconds. And Houghton's Calvin Nitz was 11th. Nagani's Neil Colick was 57th, not too far behind. Dan Wintermini of Iron Mountain, 59th. And Andrew Kangas of Marquette was 64th. On the women's side in the half mountain, the former Kelly McClure, also now known as Kelly Royce, Roos of Iron Mountain, an hour 34 and two seconds. And moments later, Melissa Wintermini of Iron Mountain crossed the line in 15th. Hancock's Amy Aldridge was 33rd, Nagani's Aliyah Junty 39th, and Angie Eagling of Nagani 48th in an hour, 42 minutes, and 11 seconds. All kinds of information is available on our website at UpperMichiganSource.com. The hockey season is over for former Michigan Tech Husky Tanner Carroll. He had a goal and an assist tonight for the Rockford Ice Hogs, 
But Grand Rapids Griffins still won the game 5-3 and they won the series four games to one. So the Griffins move on to the Eastern Conference Finals in the American Hockey League. Well, at least he gets a good last shot in. Yes, Tigers lost tonight as well 2-1 to St. Louis.